السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته، معكم الأستاذ أسامة من مجموعة اللغات الدولية. اليوم إن شاء الله حنستكمل درسنا في برنامج الأفتر إفكت، وصلنا لمستوى جميل جدا في برنامج الأفتر إفكت، ولكن نحن طبعا مثل ما كنا متعودين، عم ناخذ بعض الفيديوهات اللي هي ممكن إنها تحسننا في المونتاج، واللي هي ممكن كمان إنها تحسننا بال... بالتصوير والإخراج. طبعا نحن اليوم راح نكمل الفيديو تبعنا اللي إحنا كنا وقفنا فيه عمد إمبارح. أه فراح نشوف نحن حنكمل من محل ما وقفنا امبارح، طبعا الفيديو امبارح اللي احنا اخذناه كان جدا مهم، انه لو نحن ما عندنا اي ادوات ولو نحن ما عندنا اي كاميرات ولا مايكات، كيف ممكن نحن نطالع فيديو سينمائي من خلال ايفون؟ طلع معنا مثل ما شفنا امبارح فيديو او طلع معنا نتيجه جدا جباره من خلال فقط ايفون، ما ما اضطرينا نستخدم لا كاميرات ولا مايكات ولا شيء. ولكن هو الاخراج يعني كيف بدي احكي لكم هو اللي هو اللي اللي ساعدنا بهذا الشيء اليوم حنستكمل الدرس تبع امبارح ونشوفه مع بعض خلينا نسوي خلينا نسوي الشير سكرين بالاول ثواني شوي نسوي شير سكرين هذا الفيديو اللي نحن كنا عم نشوفه امبارح، خلينا نرجع نشوف مرة ثانية، خلينا نحط شير ساوند عشان نكمل ونشرحه مع بعض، امبارح ما شرحنا. Let's take an iPhone 15 Pro and see if we can film a wedding with it. نقول خلينا ناخذ ايفون 15 برو ونشوف إذا بنحسن نحن نسوي فيه فيلم. Yes, you heard that correctly. We are here at the beautiful Breakfield event venue and we are filming an actual wedding today, but I am only using my iPhone. No other camera, just the new iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now we've done this before with the iPhone 13 about two years ago, but with the new features that have come out with the iPhone 15, we have a lot of people asking us to try and film another wedding and see just how far we can push the new iPhone when it comes to cinematic filmmaking. So we are at the wedding of Matthew and Kimberly who have so graciously allowed us to film their wedding today with an iPhone and they're actually really excited to be a part of this video. So you guys are going to be following along with us as we're going to be showing you our camera setup, things we're doing and not doing because we're filming with an iPhone and you guys get to be just a fly on the wall as we film a wedding. So, yes, thank you for uh, letting us do this. We're, we're excited. It's going to be a lot of fun. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Yeah. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Here we go. Now, there are a lot of new features about the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but the two main ones that affect us the most is the new 5X camera and being able to shoot an Apple ProRes log. Now, that is huge. When we filmed with the iPhone 13, the only log option we had was with a third-party app, and it was basically just like a desaturated image. It was not true log. So being able to actually have ProRes log is going to make a huge difference for us at this wedding. Now, the 5X camera, though, it's like really cool and everything, but I mean, I'm, I'm not really going to be using it other than maybe like the ceremony, maybe to like zoom in close to the couple. So other than that, I'm going to be sticking with the standard 24 millimeter lens on the iPhone. Right, we're trying to figure out where the sun is going to be whenever the ceremony happens, because this is where the ceremony is going to be. It's going to be right there at 430. Okay, the sun is going to be setting like there. And so whenever it's there, then we will be getting some shots of the signs and the exterior and stuff like that. So it feels weird to literally come to the wedding first thing and not get any ex exterior shots, but the sun is just terrible for the iPhone. So we just gotta wait till it kind of goes behind some trees. Hello. Hi. Is everybody dressed? Okay. Okay, we're seeing if everyone's dressed. This is Always vital. Ask. Yes. We're gonna go get shots of her putting on the last little bit of makeup. Yes, you can tell me. Okay, cool. Right. Very good. You can do it one more time. Just a slight smile. Very slight smile. There we go. Don't want to mess up the makeup. There we go. I like this mirror right here. I'm gonna try to see if I can get through this. It just keeps messing up. There we go. Look at 
look at that. Look, don't look. It's in, that's in log, but you know, I like it. That's fire. So the setup we have today is the Ronin RS2 as our gimbal. Of course, you can really use any gimbal that you have, including the smaller iPhone gimbals like the DJI Osmo. But the point is we want to get as smooth of shots as possible and try to not look like the typical iPhone shaky look. So we have a phone holder and the iPhone attached to a gimbal. But the main difference right now is that we have to record externally to an SSD. Now the iPhone 15 will shoot at ProRes log in 4K, 60 frames per second, but only if you record to an external SSD because the files are just massive. And unfortunately, the way that the gimbal is set up, we actually had to flip the iPhone upside down so that the cord would not interfere with the gimbal, so it looks really, really strange, but it's what you have to do. And also the main thing we always want to emphasize whenever you're using a smartphone that we have found to be a game changer is third-party lenses. Now the iPhone has a distinct wide angle look and that's because the main lens on the iPhone is 24 millimeters, but I don't want to film this wedding at 24 millimeters. So I'm using moment lenses. They are lenses that you can put on your main 24 millimeter lens and get different focal lengths, which make a huge difference. Again, the difference between this shot and this shot is huge because this shot automatically looks like an iPhone because it's a wide angle lens and this shot could almost pass for a DSLR. All right. With the first look, since I don't have two cameras, I only have one, it's more important to get the father's reaction. So I'm actually gonna focus on him for the real reaction, and then I'll probably fake it one more time and I'll get her walking up and all that kind of stuff. But for the real reaction, it's best to get the father's reaction for the first look. So that's what we're gonna do. Like, is this clue close? You tell You're me. You're good, as long as you stay where you are. I won't move. Okay. All right, so let's fake it one more time. This one, just a slight a faking. Angle. Yeah, I want to get her walking up and stuff like that. All right, so let's walk halfway to like right here and then stop. What should I do when I stop? Uh, just stop. I'm going to direct you after that. You ready? And walk. Good job. All right, now do me a favor. Walk up to like right here. Okay, you ready? And you're smiling and go. Thank you. Very good. Uh, tap a shoulder and then you can turn around and just smile and then give her a hug. And go. Oh, yeah, see, that was great. That was great. I even faked it and he cried on the faking. I don't think he cried on the real one, but he cried when we faked it. So, oh, it was beautiful. It was just beautiful. That's good. Here, Quinn, come next to the window right here. Uh, turn towards me a little bit right there. Very good. Same thing, just kind of play with it. Uh, yeah, change uh, just your tie. Oh, yeah. There we go. Hold on, wait. I like this bush or this. What is this? This. I was, already, I was already doing that. <laughs> Were you? Yeah. Look at this. All right. Do me a favor. Be looking that way and kind of adjust your tie. So I'm going to create some depth here, since the iPhone does not have good depth. An external power brick is going to be huge if you're going to be filming a wedding with a smartphone. Uh, the iPhone 13, I think we only had to uh, charge it one time whenever we were eating. And right now, it looks like the iPhone 15 is losing power a lot faster. So I'm going to be charging this as often as I possibly can, even if it's for just a couple minutes here and there. All right, so receptions, the lighting is always terrible. Horrible. It's usually lit by candles and little dim lights, and it looks terrible for video, especially with iPhones. So what I do is I buy these cheap Young Yo lights, but the main thing is they're cheap and they're battery powered. And what I like to do is I put them on one end of the room and one on the other. And then if you shoot with that behind it, it looks amazing, so much better. So I buy these little cheap stands, these little $80 lights, and they save receptions. And these lights do the trick. They're only 80 bucks on Amazon. Get one. Hey, that was a good transition. <laughs> 
Also, the camera app that we're using is the brand new Blackmagic mobile camera app, and it is like mind-blowing. This camera app is phenomenal, and I will never, ever use another camera app. The Blackmagic mobile camera app, it is completely free. Go get it. Not a sponsor, but go get it. If you're a business owner, then animated explainer videos are the best way to capture attention, get more followers, and drive more sales. They're engaging to... All right, so the previous wedding that we did with the iPhone 13 was all indoors and it was even lighting and it was beautiful. This is going to stretch the uh, Apple Pro Res log, so we will see how good it is because this is in shade and then the background is going to be really bright. So usually with iPhones, you kind of have to choose what to expose for. We're going to try to expose in the middle and see how far we can really push the log footage and see if it works. And currently the iPhone is charging. It got down to 30% and we hadn't even started the ceremony. And now it's up to 70%. We're saved. So uh, the iPhone 15 loses battery a lot faster than the other iPhones so far. There's no groomsmen. Okay, we need to find the groom to mic him up immediately. Where's the groom? No, nobody's in there. All right. Say check one, two. Check one, two. Perfect. Beautiful. Watch that time go up. Yes, I know. We've had these die before. Oh, great. <laughs> and we just like uh, don't put the vows in the video. They're like, where's the vows? We're like, did we not put the vows in there? I'm sorry. <laughs> you are making that up. That's actually true. That did happen one time. That happened to you? Yeah, one time. But Hilarious. it's not going to happen. <laughs> no, 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 I was talking to you. Um, I'm going to talk to the camera. Yeah. I'll check it later. Is that an iPhone? Stop it. Yes, I'm filming a wedding with an iPhone. This is the 5X. You're my son. His response was, I'm your son, you're my mother, and there isn't anything I wouldn't do for you right now. Okay, the ceremony is over. It's past 6 o'clock. Finally, the exterior is manageable. So we're going to now get the exterior shots after the wedding is over because the lighting was just so horrendous whenever we got here. And now it looks really even. The sky's still a little blown out. Might be able to bring that down a little bit with the um, Apple ProRes log, but now we're gonna get the exterior shots. All right, so I brought my one wheel. Since I can't use a drone, I thought about maybe getting some like faster moving shots. You know what? That actually looks good. So almost like a low flying drone. Since I can't use a drone because I've got a phone, I can kind of fake it. So all it is is just a little faster. Oh, there's a curb there. I almost just ate it. Unfortunately, we have people that came into the front. So now they're in the shot. Do you mind going back inside for like two minutes? Just this last shot, two minutes. Sometimes you have to be assertive, okay? You have to be real assertive and they'll listen to you. And who's going to say no to a man with an iPhone on a one wheel? I mean, okay, well, that was fun. Matt came out and ruined it. But now we got to take pictures. So I guess it's going back. Now we got to go back to work. And walk. That looks good. That looks good. Yeah, very good. Very good. One, two, three, go. That was really good, actually. All right, we're still going to get some shots of bridal party with groomsmen and bridesmaids, but there's this little shimmer of light 
over there. And so we're going to put the bride and groom in that light because it's perfect and beautiful. And we're just going to get a couple shots with them before the light goes away. And then we'll come back and finish the bride and groom, all the wedding party stuff. But that little shaft of light is what we're aiming for. Oh, look at that. That's true. Look at that light. That is beautiful. So I'm going to put the lights in the corner until food is done and I'm going to set it up on the dance floor and then it'll uh, it'll be great. So that's why I love these lights. They're they're cheap, they're small and you can put them everywhere and they fix everything. Entrances, dances, everything. They fix all of it. All right. Everyone's eating. We're out here in the dark in the boiler room. We're charging the phone. So, got a little charging station until it's time to eat. It's like the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> you better use that. <laughs> Make some noise for our Brian Green. So it's the end of the wedding day and we had to charge the iPhone 15 quite a few times unfortunately. But I mean it is shooting an Apple ProRes log 4K 60 frames per second into an SSD so it's using a lot more power. Now I will say that this venue and just the day that was today is really going to push the limits of the log footage because last wedding that we filmed was an overcast day. It was even lighting and everything and it looked beautiful. But today there was literally not a cloud in the sky and there was lots of trees and bright areas. So I wish that the day would have been a little bit better for the iPhone, but we're just gonna see how far we can actually push the log footage to make it work. But I think that that actually is more relatable because you can't really choose what kind of day you're filming or what the sky does. You kind of have to just make it work and that's exactly what we did today. So if you want to learn more about filmmaking and how to film a wedding, check out our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have a 70 plus episode wedding cinema course and a 100 plus episode mobile filmmaking cinema course, along with over 1,200 training videos and over 100 hours of content on every single filmmaking subject that you can possibly imagine taught by leading professionals in the film industry. So you can learn everything you need to know right now for only 97 bucks. Yes, you get a lifetime access to everything that we just mentioned for only 97 bucks. So watch the final wedding video right after this and leave us a comment in the notes below if you think that you can actually film a high quality cinematic wedding video with a smartphone. What's up? Hi, Jira. We brought you here today to let you know that we made the business decision to switch to ClickUp. Your performance has been decreasing over the last few quarters. There's no innovation, no new features, poor customer support, and there have been several complaints for years. But you know I just have my way of operating. I know, and we really appreciate all the days of my life I vow to see you. No circumstance or situation will ever change my immense love for you. Kimberly, I can't wait to marry you. And I'll stand by you forever. Need your reaction is fight or flight. First sign of color, I run and hide. But you came like rain on a summer night. And I think you're rewiring my mind. I've been taking cover under my skin. 
But I wanna step outside and take it all in Cause baby it's like a light storm To be yours Thunder crash until the sky's torn You're like a light storm A light storm Oh 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 A light storm I always wanted my gravestone to say something like, led millions to the Lord, and raise the dead, and spread the gospel far and wide. But truthfully, if my gravestone said, I loved you well, I will have lived a perfect life. And I vow to be everything to you that I can't be. I'm used to taking cover under my skin. But I want to step outside and take it all in. Cause baby, it's like a light storm To be yours Finding freedom in the downpour You're like a light storm A light storm Baby, it's like a light storm To be yours Feelings flooding through the front door You're like a light storm A light storm Here are three reasons why you should use Codecademy to learn how to code. Now, before I get to number one, you need to know that right now, they're running a sale of 50% off on a year of their plan. Normally it's $20 a month, but I don't know how long the sale will last. And right now it's $10. Number one is their course catalog. They have a ton of courses. كل هذا باستخدام التليفون فقط خلينا نرجع شوي على برنامجنا برنامج الافتر افكت طبعا نحن مثل ما حكينا راح نطبق اللي شفناه او اللي عم كنا عم نشوفه في نهايه هذا البرنامج او في نهايه هذا الدرس راح نطبقه كله في الافتر افكت ولكن نحن الان لسه ما خلصنا الفيديوهات عندنا كمان عدد فيديوهات نحن شفنا اذا نحن ممكن نحن نسوي فيلم باستخدام ايفون 15 أو اللي هو آخر إصدار للتليفون أو آخر إصدار لآيفون 15 بس في منا مثلا ما كان ما عندنا آيفون ما ما عندنا آيفون 15 فهل فينا يا ترى إنه نحن نستخدم فقط آيفون 13 مثلا أو آيفون إكس أو hey guys, آيفون إكس just... عندنا يا باستخدام يعني تليفون بسيط يعني هو طبعا تليفون بسيط يعني إنه مو مو آيفون 15 هو تليفون إنه قوي بس نحن بدنا تليفون أقل دقة منه فممكن نحن نستخدم الايفون مثلا 13 هل ترى نحن نقدر نطالع نتيجه جباره بنفس ما طالعنا بنفس النتيجه تبع ايفون 15 هذا راح نشوف سوا من خلال هذا الفيديو This is Seth here with tomorrowsfilmmakers.com the largest online film academy in the world and today we are at the Chickadee Hills farm in Statesville North Carolina at this beautiful wedding venue because we are filming a wedding today we are filming this wedding with iPhones and I actually have a lot of anxiety right now because I'm about to film a wedding and I don't have my DSLR, I don't have my camera and my lens, and I'm kind of scared. So we know that the iPhone has incredible video quality and that a lot of people are comparing it to different cameras. We even did a video where we compared it to a RED camera, but we wanted to take it on the field and actually try to shoot with it 
in a real environment like a wedding. Now we've never done this before, so you guys are gonna follow along with us as we try to film a wedding with iPhones and see how it turns out because I don't know, it could be horrible, it could be amazing, but I wanna show you guys our process, some of the things we have to do differently because we're filming with iPhones, and you guys are just gonna come along with us as we shoot this wedding. So one thing that we are not doing is we are not gonna be using the cinematic mode on the iPhone 13. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, oh, that's the big thing about the iPhone 13, it's got the cinematic mode and all this cool stuff. Well, it has some major problems that don't really work with a wedding. It only shoots in 1080p and it only shoots in 30 frames per second. So there's no slow motion, there's not even 24 frames per second. So yes, with cinematic mode, you can get that fake blurry background, but it comes at a cost. And so for this wedding, to get those beautiful slow motion shots at 4K, we have to not use cinematic mode and do other things like lenses and camera apps, which I'll talk about in a minute, to get that buttery smooth slow motion video. So there are three things that you need to be aware of whenever you're filming with an iPhone. And these three things we're going to be doing at this wedding today to try to make this phone not look like a phone. So the number one thing is the gear that we use. We're gonna be talking about that in just a second. Number two is things to do to avoid the iPhone look. And number three are the problems with an iPhone. Now, if we understand all three of these things and act accordingly, we can actually make our iPhone not look like an iPhone, but actually look like a DSLR. So the first thing we have is a gimbal. Now we have a $200 gimbal, and then we have a small $150 gimbal. Now I personally use the Ronin RS2, but it is probably a little overkill seeing as it's like $800, but you can get away with a cheaper gimbal if you want to. Next is a phone holder. Now this is vital. Now Moment does make uh, some magnetic phone holders that basically hold the phone like this with some sort of magnet and it works if you're going to be putting it on a tripod or something. But if you're going to be putting it on a gimbal and it needs to be sturdy, you need a solid phone holder. Now this one is called Ulanzi. Need hosting that's speedy and simple to set up? Our security plan options could keep your online business running smoothly. 24-7 expert support comes included. Choose the right hosting plan for your business with GoDaddy. But basically, you unscrew it, you put your phone in it, you clamp it down, and then you can have it on a gimbal and it's not going anywhere and allows you to add a tripod plate to the bottom. Next, and something incredibly vital, are lenses for your iPhone. Now we use Moment lenses and I absolutely love them. We have wide angle lenses, telephoto lenses, anamorphic lenses. But what this allows you to do is to take these lenses and put them on the highest quality lens on your iPhone and now you can get different focal lengths with an iPhone that people are not used to seeing. So we would highly recommend getting Moment lenses, which we have links in the description below for you guys to pick these things up. They completely change the game whenever you're filming with an iPhone. And finally, the last bit of gear that you need is not actually a physical item, but it is an app. You desperately need a camera app for your iPhone that allows you to take full control of all the settings. Now we use the Moment Pro app for the iPhone and it works great with the lenses and allows you to change the shutter speed and ISO and focus and lock focus, but especially the white balance because there's a lot of manual camera apps out there that allows you to change certain settings and exposure, but the white balance is still on auto. And as you can see, just from having auto white balance shooting this shot and this shot looks totally different because we didn't have the white balance locked. 
So get a camera app, whether that be the Moment Pro app or the Filmic Pro app, whatever it is, get an app that allows you to take full manual controls of your iPhone, and then you will actually have incredible shots that aren't fluctuating every single time you turn your camera. All right, so right now we're in the bridal suite, and uh, the iPhone has terrible dynamic range. And so windows and stuff are really, really nice, but to have a window and your subject inside is a little rough. So I'm gonna to try to avoid the windows as much as possible. Oh, so, uh, I love having things like that. Oh man, that's awesome. That literally makes me feel so happy. Somebody actually across too. That's not bad actually. And Ellie, you wanna get one with Aniston. It doesn't look that bad. I'm actually surprised. Did you get back to it? Where's it at? Oh, I'm actually, I'm going to put it on the home page. I should have done this earlier. Hold on. This is Matt's iPhone. Yeah. You all look at each other, kind of smile, laugh. There we go. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> cool. That was good. If y'all, uh... So the second thing that we're going to be working on with the iPhone is trying to avoid that iPhone look. Now it's really strange if you put an iPhone next to a DSLR with the same lenses, one just kind of looks like an iPhone. And you're not even sure why that is, but you just know subconsciously that it is an iPhone. So there's four things that we're gonna be doing to make it not look like the typical iPhone footage. Number one, of course, is movement. We talked about this with the gimbal. A lot of the time, whenever you film with an iPhone and when everyone picks up their iPhone, they're used to seeing just handheld shaky footage that you're filming your dog in the park or something like that. Once you put it on a gimbal and have those smooth shots, it doesn't look like something that people are used to seeing anymore. It looks totally different. So get your iPhone on a gimbal. Second, of course, is lenses and having different focal lengths because, of course, we are all used to seeing the exact same lens. So if you have these lenses and you can get wide shots and then closer shots and detail shots, it no longer looks like an iPhone but looks like a DSLR. So the difference between this shot and this shot is astronomical and one you automatically know is an iPhone and the other one actually might even look like a DSLR. And the only difference is because we use a telephoto lens with one and the standard iPhone lens with the other. Third is going to be depth. Now an iPhone, as we all know, doesn't have the best depth of field and usually the background isn't that blurry. So you have to create depth. One of the ways to do that is to shoot through things like leaves or branches or come around the corner to actually create that depth. To put something in the foreground that is kind of blurry to show that there is a three-dimensional space happening and it's not just a 2D image where you can see the background and it's completely in focus. And the fourth and final step راح نوقف الفيديو بالنص قبل ما قبل ما نوصل لل لل للستب الرابعة قبل ما نوصل للخطوة الرابعة راح نوقف شوي ناخذ لنا بريك ونرجع نكمل
السلام عليكم خلينا نكمل درسنا احنا that completely changes iPhone filmmaking is getting different angles and different levels. And again, it's because whenever we're used to seeing an iPhone, we hold it up at eye level and we film stuff and we point down and we point up. And so that's why during the wedding, I'm getting lots of shots that are really low and shots that are really high and just trying to mix it up so it doesn't look like a typical iPhone. So the first thing you need to do is get the gear and second, do these four steps to try to avoid that typical iPhone look. All right, do you mind if we take 60 seconds and yeah. fake it one more time? Yeah. So you're here, said you can get closer. And so then you smile and you turn and you just smile. It's not like a, you don't have to embrace, just okay. a big smile. Okay. All right, you're ready. <laughs> and go. <laughs> All right, hold hands, come together, hold hands. There you go. <laughs> Very good. Good job. It's hilarious. So far, it's going really well. Uh, the iPhone is performing pretty good. Again, I'm having some trouble with depth. There's a giant ditch right there that you're about to run into. <laughs> and uh, so I'm trying to figure out how to not make that happen. What? You said 20 minutes. Okay, so. Uh, he said we had 20 minutes to go film the venue, but now they're doing their guitar singing thing right now. So we have to go do it with an iPhone. On a cool September night, felt just right. Should it never hey, can we uh, real quick do one more where you just walk up yeah. right here? That'd be perfect. A little fake walk. Perfect, that's what I needed. All right, I'm about to go film a wedding ceremony with an iPhone up there with Matt. It's a little weird, but I'm gonna go do it. And the third thing that you need to be aware of is the cons and the problems of the iPhone. If you can figure out the problems that the iPhone has and avoid them, then your shots will no longer look like an iPhone. And the number one worst thing about an iPhone is the dynamic range. It has horrible dynamic range because the sensor is the size of my pinky nail. So that just basically means it can't see really bright areas and dark areas at the exact same time. So all you have to do is really just avoid those areas and avoid those shots. If there's a shot where there's windows in the background, I'm gonna try to not shoot towards those windows because the windows will just be completely white and blown out and look like they're floating in the clouds. Now, thank goodness the ceremony, the sun was actually at the front of the church. So whenever they opened the doors for the bride to come down, it was a little bit bright behind her and kind of irritating. But once they closed the doors and I was able to turn around and look at the actual ceremony, it looked beautiful because I was really worried that those windows were gonna be completely blown out. But because the sun was behind us, it actually looked really, really good. Choose purposefully where you're going to film and move your subjects around to get the most even lighting as possible because that will change your iPhone filming drastically. And the second thing the iPhone does really bad at, obviously, is low light. Like I said before, it has a sensor the size of my pinky nail, so it doesn't do well whenever the sun's going down or there's just not much light around. So we actually have brought two lights for the reception if they're gonna be doing anything inside and there's not many lights. They did say that they're hopefully gonna be doing things outside, which would be 
lovely. So if they do things outside, it'll be great, but if not, we have two lights for the reception and for the send-off to use just in case because it's just too dark and the iPhone just can't handle it. So if you understand that it has bad dynamic range and bad low light, just try to avoid those two areas and your iPhone footage will actually look really good. Perfect. All right, you guys. Just, yes. Hold it until he says stop. Yeah, and everyone be looking at the couple. Going, this yes. Is awkward photo, but it, looks awesome. it is. <laughs> it is. All right, watch out, man. Yep. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> good job. Very good. Man, that was enthusiasm. You looking at each other? And go. All right, perfect. Stay right there. Uh, let me uh, just walk a little bit more. I'm going to get a little bit wider. Straight or towards you? Just straight this way. Ready? And go. Beautiful. Good job. So another thing to remember is that phones can sometimes overheat. So right now, we were out in the sun filming for a while and it started to overheat and it shut down. So you need to be aware of that. Avoid sun. Uh, try to stay in cool environments or in the shade if you can. Or else, like Seth, you're dead in the water and you can't shoot anymore until it cools down. All right, they're over there dancing and they're going crazy and I already got a bunch of dancing shots so that's about all I can get. So I came back to the venue, get some cool shots of the church and outside of it uh, because there's really some downtime right now and the lighting is perfect for the iPhone. The sun's going down, the sky is beautiful. It's like perfect, this is like perfect iPhone weather. And so I'm gonna go get some shots of the outside because there's no direct sunlight or anything. And so uh, let's go film it. Not. Dang it, they locked it. So, since they locked it, we'll hope that Seth got it because he said he did. We'll have to trust him. So it's the end of the wedding day. We both still have our phones. It actually turned out a lot better than we thought it was going to. I will say, because iPhones don't have good dynamic range, the lighting really does make a difference to have either overcast or the sun's going down. We did learn a few things. This gimbal died, and so now Seth has to use the crappy the one, gimbal. the small one that we had in the, our trunk. And also we had to charge the phones, I think twice yeah. uh, during the entire ceremony. So we brought those charger bricks and so those are vital. So if you are gonna film a wedding with a cell phone, you need a gimbal, you need lenses, and you need some sort of charging brick because they're great, but there's no way to swap out batteries and there's no way to swap out memory cards. So if you wanna learn more about how to film weddings, you can check out our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over 70 episode in-depth wedding course and over 100 episode in-depth mobile filmmaking course, along with over a thousand training videos and over 100 hours of content on every single aspect of filmmaking that you can imagine. So if you'd like to learn with over 15,000 students, click the link below and sign up for our full academy for 90% off. A life 
lifetime membership to our entire award-winning online film course is only 97 bucks. So watch the full wedding video right after this and let us know what you guys think in the comments down below if you think you can actually go film a high quality wedding video that people will love with your cell phone. So watch the video and let us know what you guys think. Without a domain, your website is invisible. With hosting your domains, you are in business. Every website needs a good name. The video platform you watch has it. Even some cats have it. And yours, it could be the beginning of your own brand. Domains and Hostinger won't cost you a fortune. Free domain comes with a one-year premium web hosting plan. Already have one? Just transfer to Hostinger. Besides. Peter and Ellie, I think it's safe to say that it is a big day for the both of you. After today, no longer will you be two distinct people with two distinct families, but under God and in Christ, you two are now becoming one flesh. Throughout the preceding days of this wedding, you all have grown in your love, care, concern, and affections for one another, and now today you become husband and wife. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now We're in this together now Give me your love and tell me your secrets Cause we're in this together now Yeah, we're in this together now At the end of the day, the question that both of you have to ask yourselves is Will I take the basin? Die to myself And serve one another as the Lord himself did for me. I'll keep you safe, I'll give you my everything. Even if we're falling down, even if we're falling down, all of me is yours, every part of me. Cause we're in this together now, you and me together now. What's the point of living if we're scared to lose each other? What's the point of living without you? Tell me now and I'll stop fighting Tell me now and I'll stop breathing I don't want to be here without you Peter, brother, you may now kiss your bride. Head and Shoulders saç derisine iki kat daha fazla aktif içerik bırakan formülüyle kepiğin geri gelmesine engeller. Alright, they're over there dancing. And they're going crazy and I already got a bunch of dancing shots so that's about all I can get. So I came back to the venue, get some cool shots of the church and outside of it uh, because there's really some downtime right now and the lighting is perfect for the iPhone. The sun's going down, the sky is beautiful, it's like perfect, this is like perfect iPhone weather. And so I'm going to go get some shots of the outside because there's no direct sunlight or anything and so uh, let's go film it. Not. Dang it. They liked it. 
So since they locked it, we'll hope that Seth got it because he said he did. We'll have to trust him. So, it's the end of the wedding day. We both still have our phones. It actually turned out a lot better than we thought it was going to. I will say, because iPhones don't have good dynamic range, the lighting really does make a difference to have either overcast or the sun's going down. We did learn a few things. This gimbal died, and so now Seth has to use the crappy the one, <laughs> the small one that we had in the, our trunk. And also, we had to charge the phones, I think, twice yep. uh, during the entire ceremony. So we brought those charger bricks, and so those are vital. So if you are gonna film a wedding with a cell phone, you need a gimbal, you need lenses, and you need some sort of charging brick because they're great, but there's no way to swap out batteries and there's no way to swap out memory cards. So if you wanna learn more about how to film weddings, you can check out our full course at tomorrowsfilmmakers.com. We have over 70 episode in-depth wedding course and over 100 episode in-depth mobile filmmaking course, along with over a thousand training videos and over 100 hours of content on every single aspect of filmmaking that you can imagine. So if you'd like to learn with over 15,000 students, click the link below and sign up for our full academy for 90% off. A lifetime membership to our entire award-winning online film course is only 97 bucks. So watch the full wedding video right after this and let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you think you can actually go film a high quality wedding video that people will love with your cell phone. So watch the video and let us know what you guys think. Peter and Ellie, I think it's safe to say that it is a big day for the both of you. After today, no longer will you be two distinct people with two distinct families, but under God and in Christ, you two are now becoming one flesh. Throughout the preceding days of this wedding, you all have grown in your love, care, concern, and affections for one another, and now today you become husband and wife. Give me your strength and show me your weakness. We're in this together now. We're in this together now. Give me your love and tell me your secrets. Cause we're in this together now. Yeah, we're in this together now. At the end of the day, the question that both of you have to ask yourselves is will I take the basin? Die to myself and serve one another as the Lord himself did for me. I'll keep you safe, I'll give you my everything. Even if we're falling down, even if we're falling down. All of me is yours, every part of me. Cause we're in this together now. You and me together now. What's the point of living if we're scared to lose each other? What's the point of living without you? Tell me now and I'll stop fighting. Tell me now and I'll stop breathing. I don't want to be here without you. Peter, brother, you may now kiss your bride.
طبعا هون بكون احنا انتهى درسنا ان شاء الله تكونوا استفدتوا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته